So Chandrayaan 3 done. Aditya L1 not really done, but the launch at least is done at this point. And then you have Gaganyaan and many, many more projects, including one to study the planet Venus. ISRO hopes to set up a space station very soon. So they're working towards that with back-to-back -back missions, non-stop toiling day and night to make the country proud and, of course, have the world watching. Around January of 2024, a low Earth orbit observatory is all set to be jointly developed by NASA and ISRO at an approximate cost of 12,300 crore rupees. It's called NISAR. It will map the entire globe in 12 days, provide spatially and temporarily consistent data for understanding changes in Earth's ecosystems, ice mass, vegetation biomass, sea level rise, groundwater and natural hazards including earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes and landslides. In the third quarter of 2024 SPADEX or space docking experiment at an estimated cost of 124 crore rupees is scheduled to be launched. It will be a twin spacecraft mission. Space docking experiment is being developed by ISRO to mature technologies related to orbital rendezvous, docking, formation, flying and other proximity operations. This will create scope of applications in human spaceflight, in-space satellite servicing and other proximity operations. The Mars Orbiter mission Mangalyaan-2 is all set to be launched in 2024. It will reportedly include a hyperspectral camera, a high-resolution panchromatic camera and a radar to understand early Martian crust, recent basalts and boulder falls. And finally, by the end of 2024 to the beginning of 2025, ISRO will launch its first manned mission, Gaganyaan. Series of test flights have already started. Gaganyaan module will carry Indian astronauts into orbit for three days. ISRO's next big project is Gaganyaan, that is to send humans, astronauts of India to the space where it is expected that they will stay for three to four days and this is the rocket that's going to help them. This is an LVM3 that is human rated and that's why we call it as HLVM3. This is the same rocket that took Chandrayaan-3 to the moon and the important aspect here is that on the top, there is a modification where you could see nozzle design and on the top over the national flag, that is a place where there will be a port. There is an escape system also that is being currently tested. And this is the port where the astronauts will reside and this rocket will take them up, this, up to the space. What we are now doing, we have human rating this LVM3. By human rating is the safety factors and the margin and the reliability factors we are incorporating in this. We have to increase the margin. As you know, we will lose we will go for a minimum margin in a usual launch vehicle, whereas here we have to make it safeguard for any eventualities or any deviation. That when you are integrated, we are looking at the S200 motors and as well as the L110 motors which you are seeing in the stage. And then we have the cryogenic C25 stage. Now we are trying to augment the C25 stage to some level, to reliability, with proper reliability. And then once you integrate, instead of the heat shield payload fairing that you usually see in the other launch vehicle, we are now putting the crew, the service module, crew module with its own heat load pairing and with a crew escape system. That crew escape system, which is the heaviest motors, solid motors resting there, is to a different orbit that it has on uh, low altitude escape motor as well as high altitude escape motors inbuilt with a pitch, uh, with a crew ejection motor, CJM crew jettisoning motor. In the normal course, the LEM and HEM motors will not require to, be, require to be fired. As it reaches certain orbit, the crew escape system will jettison off and only the, the crew module, which we call it as orbital module, comprising of crew module and service module will be remaining there. And the important aspect here, the next one, is that the re-entry, which, which will be inside this pod. And this is the one where you could see the uh, miniature model, one is, to five, one is to five scale. You will have uh, kind of a thermal tiles near to make sure that during re-entry, it will take care of the heat that is produced. And inside, if I could open and show, 
you will see the morals of astronaut how they will be inside safe and secure but a very important aspect that we would like to show you is about the space suit which is very essential because the astronauts are going to wear this all the time as they are in the space this is the design that you see over here all these uh, like uh, projections that you see in this port are something that monitors the health it will provide oxygen and various other important aspects one of the very important thing the astronauts should take care of is the pressure and here you have a pressure monitor which will constantly tell them the pressure reading as well this design is it, it's kind of like a modular design because here you see this is a hand and it's something like that you can revolve and you can remove so this is a model of the space suit of the astronaut the mask and the way you could see the couplings are here to close it make sure that it's the pressure is balanced inside and what pressure humans can handle that will be inside in fact the pressure on earth is 14.7 psi that will be ma ma managed as well and here this is a setup and this is how isro is gearing up for gaganyaan project the indian space agency has shortlisted four candidates to go on this mission they have already undergone initial training in russia now they are undergoing future training at the newly opened astronaut training facility in bengaluru india's number 1 political reporter defines what seems to be happening vendetta politics koi doop ke se dula hua nahi hai unmatched eye unmatched experience the world has changed my black hair has become gray as well and with unmatched passion for the story do not monopolize the conversation when it's 100% news that matters it's news today with rajdeep sardesai monday to friday 9 pm only on india today tv india's number 1 political reporter defines what seems to be happening vendetta politics koi doop ke se dula hua nahi hai unmatched eye unmatched experience the world has changed my black hair has become gray as well and with unmatched passion for the story do not monopolize the conversation when it's 100% news that matters it's news today with rajdeep sardesai monday to friday 9 pm only on india today tv India's number 1 political reporter defines what seems to be happening vendetta politics koi doop ke se dula hua nahi hai unmatched eye unmatched experience the world has changed my black hair has become gray as well and with unmatched passion for the story do not monopolize the conversation when it's 100% news that matters it's news today with rajdeep sardesai monday to friday 9 pm only on india today tv